Hey guys, it's GED question of the daytime and today we've been asked to find the product and product is just a word that means the answer when you multiply um, and I say that you didn't even need that language in order to see this was a multiplication problem because take a look at this. It says negative 5x times negative 3x squared. And so what am I doing? I'm multiplying together two algebraic expressions. Now remember the great news, and that is we can multiply in any order we want. Now you might say, Kate, okay, well this is just two things. Multiplying, well yeah, kind of. Negative 5x is one big ugly algebraic expression, and negative 3x squared is also one big ugly algebraic expression. But realize that, that this each one of these is actually built of other numbers multiplying. See how the negative 5 is shoved up against the x? So that's like negative 5 times x times negative 3, which is shoved up against x squared, so that's times x squared. So another way to think of this is as four numbers multiplying, a negative 5, an x, a negative 3, and an x squared. Thinking of it this way reminds me, or helps me remember, uh, that I can multiply in any order I want, and I'll start with the coefficients, the numbers out front. So first I'll do negative 5 times negative 3, and I can do this in my head, I know it's positive 15, but if you had this problem on the GED, you would have a calculator. So even if you can't multiply negatives by hand, you could type that into your calculator, negative 5 times negative 3 and it would tell you that it's positive 15. If you're getting an error message, try that in your TI, by the way. If you're getting an error message, it's because you're using the minus key instead of the negative key. The negative key is down at the bottom uh, of the calculator in parentheses, okay? So negative 5 times negative 3 is 15. So now all I have to multiply together are these x's. So here I have an x, and here I have an x squared. Remember what x squared means. x squared literally means two x's multiplying. So there were already two x's multiplying right here, and now here's another x multiplying. That will give me a total of three x's multiplying. So x to the third power, and that is the final answer. That's as simple as this expression is going to get. Uh, we don't know what x is, we don't have the power to figure out what x is, and so we just stop here and walk away. Uh, the product of negative 5x and negative 3x squared is 15x cubed. Okay, we are gonna be using this skill all over the place in algebra, so make sure that if you have any questions, you drop them in the comments. Um, and if you have any questions about any other GED math topic, do the same thing and I will make a video for you.